Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so what we're doing today is a 25 minute Tabata upper body. We're gonna get that upper body a little bit stronger in a Tabata format. Now, um, this is again, for those beginners or kind of beginning again, but even if you are more advanced, you're still gonna get a great workout. I am using some light dumbbells. I'm using my five pounds, so maybe a one pounder like your water bottles, three pounder, five pounder, or you can do this without any weights too, but grab, some, if you can, at least a water bottle. Don't forget to sweat out a drink, and of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully you had a chance at least to grab some water bottles, if not some light weights, and you're ready to rock and roll. If so, let's just start by opening and closing that chest. We're gonna get those arms moving and pumping. We're even gonna add a little bit of uh, cardio in there with some fun, but we're gonna all use that upper body while we do it. We've got three more, two more, last one, and we're gonna take that arm, we're gonna go forward, and then we're gonna drop our thumb and we're gonna pull it back. So we're gonna go forward and back big and wide. Those shoulders have a lot of mobility. We're opening up that chest. We're moving that back and we're getting that rotation in that shoulder. We've got three more, two more, last one. Now we're gonna take that arm. We're gonna go right overhead, getting to get in some more shoulder movement and also the laterals. We're working all of that. We've got three more, two more, Last one, let's go to the other side. Forward and back, forward and back. We're rotating that thumb up and back. We've got three more, two more. Last one, here we go, up and over. Oh yeah, feeling good. Come on, three more, two more, last one. Now we're gonna take the arm and we're gonna go out and press. Press with that, that palm out and back. Okay, so you're starting to activate that shoulder, getting that trunk rotation in there. Three more, two more. Last one, same thing. We're gonna go up and cross, up and cross. Press through that palm, activating and stretching. Three, two, last one. Now this time we're gonna punch and cross. A little bit of a step, just get that heart rate going just a little bit. Three, two, Last one, now we're gonna go in those diagonals, punch and punch. Oh yeah, three, two, last one. Take those arms, press them back and overhead, down. And press that up, press it down. Press it up and press it down. We've got three, two, last one. Big arm circles right here, woo, baby. Three, two, now, other direction, big arm circles. Oh, a lot of shoulder movement. Three, two, last one. Now we're gonna take those arms, make a nice good C position, press that back, press it up, pull it to the side, pull it to the side, down, press it out, press it up, pull it to the side, pull it to the side. One more, press it out, press it up, pull it and pull it. And then let's do a big circle right here and a big circle the other direction. One more time each direction. Come down, rotate that around. Come down, rotate that around. Oh yeah, and this time throw those arms up and overhead like you're throwing a ball behind you, getting that full on extension. We've got three, two, last one. Roll those shoulders, roll them the other way. Roll those wrists, roll them the other way. Roll the shoulders, roll those shoulders, roll those wrists, roll them the other way. Let's talk about what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with a chest fly. So our palms are gonna be facing up and we're gonna pull that shoulder, that arm with it not locked out. I don't want your arm, elbows locked out. I want it slightly bent, but they're gonna be a long lever arm and they're gonna come to the opposite shoulder and back down. We're gonna alternate sides up and across. We're gonna work in Tabata fashion. That means we're gonna work for 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Roll those shoulders back in. Here we go in three, two, one, up and across. We're gonna do four rounds. And then after those four rounds, we're gonna do a little bit of a cardio piece with some boxing, just to get those arm pumping and moving. So we're going up and across. And we've got four, 
three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we've got three more like that, just up and across, down and up and across for three, two, one, up and over, up and over. Squeeze that chest as you lift it up all the way to the other side of that shoulder. We're coming up and across, up and across. You've got 10 more seconds, up. Squeeze that chest for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're halfway through these. They usually aren't too bad. And then you get to round three or four and you're like, oh, this is a little harder. Here we go. Three, two, one. Come up and squeeze and squeeze. I always start these and I think like, yeah, I should have done heart heavier weights. And then you're like, oh, it's getting more tired as I go on with these reps. <laughs> Come on, pull it across and down. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we've got one more set. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some punches right here. You can do them with or without the weights. That'll be up to you. Roll those shoulders back for three, two, one. Come up and cross. Come up and cross. Come on, come up and cross and bring it down. And we've got nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and rest. Okay, so we're gonna punch, 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 punch. With or without those weights, roll those shoulders back in. Here we go. Three, two, one. Punch and punch. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. Punch it out. Okay, I'm keeping those knees slightly bent and I've got my torso nice and engaged. We're gonna work for 30 seconds for two rounds. Punch it, punch it. Come on, you got this. 15 more seconds. Almost there. Yes, we can. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, give yourself a rest for just a second. We're going to do 30 more seconds. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1. Right here. Boom. Boom. Punch it out. Boom. Okay, so you can drop those weights and punch with a little bit more speed. Boom. Boom. Come on, give some up behind it though. Boom, boom, let's go. Come on, halfway there. You can do it, let's go, let's go. Come on, 15 more seconds, almost there. Yes, getting that heart rate up and feeling so good. Oh yeah, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, didn't that feel good getting that heart rate up there? Shake that out, grab some water. Let me show you what we're doing next. I'm gonna grab some water too. I'm getting that heart pumping. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some bicep curls. The left side is gonna hold that elbow tight against that torso and bent at 90 degrees. Tension on that bicep. Other side, up and down, then we on the second round, we'll switch sides, okay? So we're keeping attention on it, on one side in that isometric hold, while the other one is moving. Okay, so, whew, roll those shoulders back, making sure, again, your knees are slightly bent, torso's nice and zipped up, nice tall chest, roll those shoulders back, and here we go in three, two, one. We're curling right here, up and down, up and down. Just holding that isometric on that left side as we come up and down. Nice, good curl. Keeping that palm facing up on both of them. Come on, halfway there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so this time we're gonna hold on the right side and we're gonna go up and down on that left. Shake that out, roll those shoulders back. Here we go, three, two, one. Come up and down. Okay, so you can do these with heavier weights and slow it down a little bit more. I've got pretty light weight, so I am able to do a little bit more speed with it. I'm not using momentum, but I have some more speed to get more reps in there with that lighter weight. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, they're starting to get fatigued, huh? Holding that isometric hold. Okay, we've got one more on each side. Roll those shoulders back, isometric hold on that left. Here we go, three, two, one, we're going up and down, up and down. Come on, pump that iron. Think about your guns, they are firing and being looking good. Come on, we got eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we've got now, holding on that right side, we're gonna finish on that left, here we go. Three, two, one, we're going up and down. Come on, nice good curl. And then we're gonna go get some pump in that iron, we're gonna pump that heart with some uppercuts, woo! I will show you how to do that, don't worry. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're gonna do uppercuts. We're gonna drive up and up like you're coming under someone's belly or under their chin. Okay, so you're drive and drive. Drive right here, come on. Are you ready to join me? In three, two, one, drive, 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 drive. We're working for 30 seconds. Drive that baby from those hips. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna do the first round with weights and then I'm gonna speed it up and drop my weights for the second round. Come on, push it, push it. Boom, 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 boom. You got this, come on. Whew. 10 more seconds. Yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I'm gonna drop my weights. I'm gonna speed that up for this last round, okay? So we got 30 seconds of work. Here we go, three, two, one, drive. So I got more speed in there. Still got that oomph. Okay, I'm gonna get that heart rate up there a little bit more. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, I love doing boxing moves. Always gives me energy. I love pumping that heart that way. It's a lot of fun, at least for me. <laughs> Come on, we've got 10 more seconds. Keep it going. Water break after this in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, shake those arms out. Yes, baby. Okay, next activity. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hinge down and we're gonna do a back fly and a row. Okay, so a back fly, you come out and wide. Again, I don't have my elbow locked, it's slightly bent. It's out and I squeeze that shoulder blade and then I bring it down and then I drive that elbow, keep my right close to my torso, pull it back, squeeze that shoulder blade and down. So you can do it at the same time and back or you can just do the right side and then the left, either way. What I want you to do is I want you to hinge back, drive that butt out there. As soon as you get that glute activated, it's gonna take that pressure off that back. Let's start this, roll those shoulders back in three, two, one. We're going out wide and row, out wide and row. I want you to picture, squeeze those shoulder blades, squeeze them back. Okay, it's a long lever arm and then it's close. Out wide and squeeze. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, woo, baby, yeah. Again, you can do just the right side or just the left side or you can do both with me in three, two, one, out back and back. Okay, really working on those back muscles. We need them strong for a nice good posture. And again, that pressure should be off that back by really getting that butt out there. Squeeze that glute. And as soon as you get that butt out there and hinge, you're gonna feel that off your back. In three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Yeah, halfway through these and feeling good. In three, two, one, hinge down and squeeze. Pull back, lift out, pull back. Lift out, picturing that squeezing of that shoulder blade. Come on, 10 more seconds of this. Whew. Yes, we can do it, come on, keep it going. And we've got four, three, two, one, and rest. One more of those, and then we're gonna do some cross punches. Oh yeah. Here we go, in three, two, one, lift and extend, pull back, lift out, pull back, come on, lift out, pull back, you're doing awesome, come on, hang in there, 10 more seconds, get that butt back there, the pressure's off, and here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest, okay, so this time, we're gonna cross and cross, I'm gonna use my hip and my body to drive it across, and drive it across, boom, boom. Each side in three, two, one. We've got 30 seconds of work, boom, 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 
Boom, let's go. Come on, let's pump that heart and get that body moving and feeling good. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. Drive it through that hip and that shoulder. Let's go. Come on. Whoo. Hang in there. 10 more seconds. I'm going to drop my weights for my last round. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. I got some up behind these guns without the weights. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom, boom, boom. If you're not having weights like me, have some oomph behind that. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, keep it going. Let's go. Ten. Keep it driving forward. You can do this. 15 seconds left. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. We got it. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo, yeah. That felt good, right? Okay, so this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hinge back. We're gonna keep our elbow straight. We're gonna squeeze back, it's gonna get that tricep. Then we're gonna bend our elbow and we're gonna extend. So we're gonna do two different ways of getting that tricep. Now, just like what we did before, you can do one at a time, back and back, or you can try to do both at the same time. That is perfectly up to you. You can choose. I will give you that option. <laughs> But again, what I want you to do is when you hinge, you hinge through that hip, okay? No rounding or back. It's a nice neutral spine. You got that glute out there, so that pressure's on the glute and not on the back. Roll those shoulders back, hinge forward in three, two, one. Straight arms, squeeze back. Now bend those arms and then extend in the hinge. Straighten and lift, Just pull back and hinge. Straighten and lift, pull back and hinge. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Yeah, okay, so when you pull back and then you hinge back like that and then you do the straight arm. Here we go, three, two, one, hinge back and then pull. There you go, keep the elbow straight and pull back, squeeze and hinge. Keep it going, we've got seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Halfway there. Woo! Roll those shoulders back. Let's get in position in three, two, one. Kick it back, hinge it back. Kick it back, hinge it back. Oh, feel the back of those arms, right? Those triceps are kicking in. We've got 10 more seconds. Whew. Starting to burn on those three and fourth rounds, right? Four, three, two, one, and a rest. One more round. Like I said, you started out and you go, that's not too bad. Round three, you're like, yeah, I'm feeling that. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pull it back and then over. We're going to do some hooks next. Oh, yeah. Hook it, baby. Squeeze it. Pull it back. Lift out. We've got eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah. Okay, so a hook comes out wide. Okay, so you're coming out wide and that palm faces you and you drive through that hip and across. Here we go. Three, two, one. 30 seconds of work. Hook, 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 hook. Come on, boom. You're getting the side of that cheek of somebody. Boom, boom, come on, boom, boom. Or the side of that speed bag or that, I don't know what the boxing bags are called. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> come on, drive it, drive it. Oh yeah, we've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, I'm dropping those weights. Okay, have those guns out, okay? 30 seconds, here we go, three, two, one, boom, 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 boom. Okay, a little bit left, when you don't have that weight, you can have a little bit more speed. Boom, 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 let's go. Come on, keep it moving. Give it to me, those good hooks. Drive through that hip, and we've got 10 
more seconds. You can do it, come on, boom, boom. Keep that heart rate going. Let's pump that baby. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, here's the good news. We only have one more activity left. Yeah. Okay, so this one, whew. So we are going to do a shoulder abduction. We're gonna have our knee, our elbow bent. We're gonna lift out to the side. We're gonna come up. We're gonna rotate our palms forward, our palms out, and then come back down. Out, come up, rotate around, and come down. If you want to, just isolate the first round, and the second round you can do just right here and rotate, or you can go with me and combine. Okay, so actually let's start that. Let's just do the first round, just the lift right here. We'll isolate and then we'll combine on our last two. Here we go, elbows bent at 90 in three, two, one. You're lifting, and you're gonna lift through that elbow out to that shoulder level. Lift out and down, lift out and down. Squeeze those shoulders, come back down. Halfway there, lift up and out. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're gonna have our shoulders up. We're gonna have our palm facing us. We're gonna rotate it out and face out. Rotate it in and face in. We've got three, two, one. Rotate it out, rotate it in. Rotate it out, rotate it in. Burn those shoulders out a little bit. Oh yeah, remember it's our last activity, so we can do that. <laughs> and then we're gonna combine, or you can stay with the isolated movements next. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so I'm gonna lift out, I'm gonna rotate in, I'm gonna rotate out, and then come back down. Okay, so, or you can just stay lifting here. In three, two, one, lift out, rotate in, rotate out, lift down. Whew. It's a little easier after we just did those two movements. Oh, but my shoulders are burning. How about yours? We've got five, four, three, two, one and rest. Okay, only one more round, and then we'll finish with a nice good 30 seconds, two rounds, some cross and some punches. Oh yeah, here we go. Three, two, one. Lift up, rotate around, rotate out and back down. Lift out, rotate around, rotate out and back down. Oh yeah, those shoulders are burning. I'm gonna lot, use my weights at all on my last round. Four, three, two, one, and rest. I'm not gonna use weights on the last cardio. So we're gonna cross, cross, punch, punch, cross, cross, punch, punch. Okay, that's what we've got. You ready? Three, two, one. Cross, cross, punch, punch, cross, cross, punch, punch. Give me some oomph. Let's finish strong. You can do it. Come on, boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, keep it going. You got this. Woo, baby. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We've got one more set of 30 seconds. Yes, we can do it. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Cross, cross, punch, punch. Cross, cross, punch, punch. Cross, cross, punch, punch. Come on. Give me all you got. You can do it. Boom, boom. Cross, cross. Boom, boom. Cross, cross. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah, it's like a dance move. Okay, that's, that's I dance. <laughs> I do not dance well, so these are kind of my dance moves. Come on. Ten more seconds. <laughs> yes, I'm a nut. Come on. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, yes. Bring that shoulder across. Let's stretch that baby out. Oh, we worked that so well. Take it up and overhead. Let's get that tricep extend stretched out. And then we're gonna take that thumb, we're gonna rotate it back down as far as you can twist and pull it behind. That's how we get that bicep stretched out. Pull it behind while you rotate that thumb back. Oh yeah. And then come on over, pull the other side across. Getting that heart rate to come down and feeling mighty fine for doing the hard work today. Take that up and overhead. Getting that tricep. We work that for sure. And then take that thumb, rotate it around, pull it behind. 
Nice work. And then we're gonna take those hands and we're gonna push that shoulder blades out. Really push, push, push. Give me a nice, good C position. And then lift on up. Take those arms behind you. Now, if you can't grab your hands, take a towel on each other side. You're gonna lift that shoulder up. Open up that chest. Take those hands now. Open up wide right here and open up that chest. And take those hands again. Make that C position, press that out. Lift that on up. Pull to the side, really give me a nice good pull. Ooh yeah, now pull to the other side. Oh yeah, feels good. Now take that hand and wrap it around that hip and you're gonna tilt the head the other side. Oh yeah, now take it and wrap it the other way and tilt your head down. Oh yeah, we've got three, two, one. High five for rocking that and that right there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that workout. If you want to keep that momentum going, I have a free gift for you. It's my 10 minute slim and fit core routine. This video will help you look better, feel better and move better. All you need to do is click the first link in the description below, then enter your name and email and I'll instantly send you one of my favorite core routines. Did you like this video? Then let me know by clicking the like button below. Leave a comment with your favorite part or even ideas for future videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's totally free. All you need to do is click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my future workouts. So let's go get started on that 10 minute slim and fit core routine. I'll see you there and have a great day.